Hi, and welcome to the first episode in the Customer Lifecycle Marketing Series on Pulsate Academy. My name is Finola, and I'm part of the Customer Success Team here at Pulsate. In this series, we're going to look at how you can personalize the experience for your users from when they sign up right through to becoming brand evangelists. Today, we're going to look at what Customer Lifecycle Marketing is and the benefits of creating a strategy for your business. So let's get into it. So what is customer lifecycle marketing? Basically, it determines the movement from one step to the next in the customer journey. Let's look at the four benefits of why you should create a customer lifecycle marketing strategy for your app. Number one, relevancy. It's really important to know your users so that you can deliver the right content to them at the right time, and this is done through segmentation. So let's say, for example, you have a sign-up screen to your app and a user fills it out, then they're eligible to receive campaign X. However, if a user has not filled out the sign-up form, then maybe in a day or two, you'd send them campaign Y, trying to bring them back into your app and engage with them. Number two, customer insight. Have a, know, know your insights of your users. So what they buy, what actions they have taken, and then you can create more personalized experiences for them with your app. Number three, customer loyalty. Campaigns driven by behavior are best as they help to build long-term relationships with your users and they feel more valued receiving the content that is relevant to them. Number four is measurement. Having a customer lifecycle marketing strategy helps you and your team to focus on the long-term goals, such as customer loyalty, retention, and customer lifetime value. Aligning these marketing goals with your business goals brings long-term profitability and revenue in the long run. So these are the four benefits of why you should create a customer lifecycle marketing strategy for your app. Over the next few weeks, we're going to look at real examples of what does and doesn't work from sign-up screens to the onboarding process, automation, and lots more. If you have any questions from today's episode, feel free to leave a comment below, catch us on Twitter at PulsateHQ, and of course, be sure you've subscribed to the Academy. See you next time. One common bond for each. Oh. I just thought about how long this is going to be like <laughs> for the customer journey. This Germany is unique. <laughs> <laughs>